We're learning more about what led up to a shooting in Floresville this afternoon. We first brought you the story as breaking news at five o'clock. So now we know that the suspect in question is in the hospital. And as the night teams, John Paul Barajas reports, he was wanted on an active fugitive warrant. When you see guns drawn right in front of Floresville High School, I thought, oh my God, oh my God. A shopper caught off guard by what he thought might be a school shooting. Texas DPS has since confirmed it was a wanted fugitive who was spotted on foot. Investigators say the 33-year-old suspect ran near the school and started shooting at officers. He did fire multiple times at officers. Uh, this is a busy area. Fortunately, uh, our officers did some proactive measures, locked that school down immediately. The HEB, uh, we, we kept that individual away from this area as well. According to Lieutenant Jason Reyes, there are four different scenes where that suspect shot at law enforcement from the Floresville Police Department, Wilson County Sheriffs, and state troopers. It started near the intersection of 181 and 97, coming to an end behind HEB. About 12 to 18 police officers from various jurisdictions in a line marching all the way down this green space. I hear a tremendous volley of shots, probably 12 to 18 shots, all different caliber of guns coming to a crescendo. DPS says the suspect was wanted out of Guadalupe County for violating probation. This time, his name and condition have not been released. Law enforcement struck that individual multiple times. He was hit. That suspect has been taken to Samson with critical injuries. Uh, at this point, we don't know what his outcome is. Lieutenant Reyes explained that a tip led them to the suspect here in Floresville, and at this time, he is the only suspect they are looking for. As for the four scenes that we told you about, the last one has just cleared. It was where everything ended right here behind the HEB, but there are still plenty signs of crime scene tape in the area. In Floresville, John Paul Barajas, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.